What we have here is a chaotic double pendulum. You can see that there are two pendulums here, each one being an oddly shaped piece of aluminium, and they're joined together by these frictionless bearings that allow the pieces to swing and rotate. This part of the apparatus up here are two very large G-clamps. All they do are holding this to the desk. You'll see in a minute why I need these big chunky clamps here. Now, if I give this pendulum just a little bit of a push, you'll see that it swings side to side, not all that differently from the kind of pendulum you might see in an old grandfather clock, just swinging side to side fairly predictably. But if I go and put more energy into the system, something happens to this motion. You can see that the motion has become very complicated and highly unpredictable even though physicists know the equations that should describe this motion, they cannot predict what's going to happen next. It's because when it goes chaotic, the, the motion becomes so sensitive to exactly how I pushed it at the beginning that it's completely unpredictable. Now I think uh, I'll just give it one more shove and see if you can predict what's going to happen next.